Namaskaram and welcome to the uh, final part of the Dogen uh, story art story series. So after uh, Dogen uh, attained enlightenment, uh, he returned back to Japan, uh, where he started a new sect, Buddhism sect, uh, which is very popular even now. Uh, it is called uh, Soto Zen. So the main uh, the main objective of the uh, practice of the Soto Zen was to uh, just sit zazen. That was the most primary practice. What it was. So uh, the traditional uh, Buddhists uh, who were in Japan, uh, they found out uh, where, like, uh, what was the teaching uh, Dogen has brought from China because they were like a bit jealous about the success of Dogen and then they went to his monastery and then asked him that show us the proof <laughs> show us the proof what was the teachings you have brought from the China what are the teachings what you thought what you think as the true Buddhism so they came with the swords and everything and then uh, Dogen just calmly told them that eyes are horizontal and nose is vertical so they thought that like it was a joke. They said that like, what are you talking about and everything. They didn't understood. But what Dogen said was like, it was quite profound thing because Buddhism was not about thinking about the otherworldly thing. It was all about seeing the world as it is without any disturbances or any kind of contamination to see the world as it is. And that was the teaching what he had while he was in China with one of the kitchen monk. That is also like a very popular story how it shaped the life of Dogen because uh, he actually met a uh, kitchen monk uh, during his search. And uh, at the time, like, uh, you know, he asked what were the true Buddhisms in China. And uh, the monk literally told him that the world is the way it is and it was like that from the beginning itself the world is not hiding anything and it is quite profound if you can understand what this literally means that was the same thing Dogen was telling to the other monks in Japan so uh, the violent stuff erupted and they couldn't understand what they were saying and they were power hungry as well so they burned down uh, the monastery of Zen, uh, uh, the Dogen and Dogen and uh, his disciples, they had to leave the town and then they went to the mountains and they started another monastery over there. Uh, so this was like a quite fascinating and uh, at the same time like uh, he also was able to uh, bring about other monks from other sects as well who found out uh, his way was like a uh, far more determined by the practices and everything and uh, Dogen left and and after many years uh, Dogen found out that like uh, he was he was sick and everything at the same time he was working on uh, scripture not the scripture book but a book very profound book, it is called Shobhagenjo, so which literally means Buddha Dharma. So he tried to complete like a hundred pages, uh, but because of his sickness, he was not able to co complete that book, which is considered as the literary masterpiece in entire Japan, not only in the spirituality, but everything. So at the end, uh, before he uh, left his body, uh, he initiated, uh, he gave the lineage to his another disciple. And uh, that was his story. So it was like a quite profound and everything. And not only that, he also started initiating uh, the nuns after his demise. So he single-handedly changed the entire Buddhism landscape 
in Japan. And without that, I don't think we would be, we would be having so much understanding about Zen Buddhism. So I'll be seeing you in the next story from another enlightened me. Namaskaram.